The match here between the Turkish player and a Greek, and this Greek boy earlier on, he was a real handful. Yeah, a real handful, a Greek, throwing people left and right. On match two, the winner, in the blue judo gi, representing the Netherlands, Jul Fransen. On match two, in the blue judo gi, representing Croatia. Tanji, Tanju, sorely of Turkey in white, has got uh, a real difficulty trying to cope with the Greek boy. Sokuris, David Sokuris. Yeah, that's Yuka. Oh, given Wazari. The initial landing for me was only worth a Yuko, but he then rolled him onto his back, so I suppose that he are. Uh, we're happy to see that given as a Wazari. Yeah, David. Sokuris. Leading by a Wazari and a Yuko. Turkish player. No, that was no score there. But the Turkish player was looking aggressive and positive for one of the first times in the contest. But now you just get the feeling that any second now, Sokuris is going to pull something out that's going to end this. Sorley is just waiting for the chance for a counter because he really has no answer to what's going on. He may pick up another penalty now. Yeah, penal. British player Owen Livesey, and then after that, it's uh, Karakash Edvig and Liga Terra. Liga Terra of Latvia and. Karakash Hedvig of Hungary. So those are the um, matches coming up on map one. Penalty at the end isn't going to make any, any real difference. It's just a few seconds to go and the... Um, Sokuris, the Greek, has seen off his, his opponent pretty easily, to be honest. Scoreboard doesn't reflect it. It's penalties that have given the Turk his um, scores, but it's all throws that have done it for Sokuris, the Greek, David Sokuris. And um, he's the first of the semi-finalists in the under 73 kilo category. On match one, the winner. In the blue judo.